I've been doing them a little smaller, but make we see how it go. All right. So if you want to watch that video, stay tuned. So let me just go back and watch the video again. So we need to add some of this tonight, and we need to add this with me. So I gotta make sure I do that for the rest of them. All right. Now we'll cut the chattings and run another video. And pray for me. Pray for me. Pray for me. All right. Pray for me. So the first step is to part your hair in sections and this is really important because if you make it too big it can look a little you know wild and if you make it too small as you can see i only had one pack of hair so i had to kind of find a good balance i went in with my gel just to ensure that all those stray hairs are in one place and then it's time for the three strand twists or as Yadi call them, plots. For this dial, I'm actually not going to plait it all the way to the end. I'm going to leave some hair out so that way I get a better grip when I'm adding the additional hair to my hair.
so to add the additional hair i use that locking tool that i showed you guys earlier and i just put it underneath you know where the base is underneath that plait and i put the hair technically in half i try my best to bundle it up and then i put it in that locking tool and pull it right through So I want to ensure that I have half on one side and half on the other side. So now that our hair is in, I'm just going to go ahead and twist, twist all the way to where I would have stopped plaiting my natural hair. Once I get to that area where I would have stopped plaiting, I infuse that hair with the added hair for a seamless look. I think the length part is like the hardest part because when you cut it like you don't want to cut it too long or too short because then it, it has some bones to it so that would have been like one of the biggest challenges for me doing this style but as i went throughout you know the hair process it, it became easier and i kind of figured it out Of course, because I want to make sure I'm not looking crazy, I kind of went through with my hands to see, you know, if everything was looking sensible. And I found this one that looked a little thin. My hair in some areas is thicker than others. So it would have needed additional hair to really give it that oomph, you know, that evenness to give it that natural look. Adding the hair was surprisingly easy. I just got a strand um, from the pack because I still had hair left over and just added that in where I noticed there was like a smaller, you know, twist down, you know, to fluff it up to make it look a little bit more even.
have it guys i finished my hair and i think it's nice for my first try i think it's pretty nice um it's giving passion to this um but i love how much it looks like my natural hair like like I, I love that aspect but let me know what you guys think as i said this is my first time trying it so please feel free to leave some tips <laughs> in the comment section below as to how i can improve so i'm trying a new thing this year where i do more of these type of styles i'm always used to styling my own hair but it's time to try to add some you know extra to it but thanks again for watching another video guys until next time bye